Yes, we've got the beanie on, which can only mean one thing. We are back on the golf course. It is freezing out here, but that does not matter. Today, we have a worldie of a video lined up for you behind the lens. I'll be the number. So in today's video, we're gonna focus on the impact and the importance of iron play. We're gonna take the drivers completely out the bag. Well, not out the bag, because they're still in the bag, but we are not allowed to use them in today's video. And we are going to play a set amount of holes and see how well we can play using irons off the tee. Ah, oh, pullin. When are we gonna get around to golfing? Soon? Are you actually gonna play though? No, how about you give me a text because you're the busy one. All right, so the real question is, why are we doing this? Now, I wanna prove a point to people. That one, we like to do challenges on this channel, but two, you don't need to hit driver off every tee and shoot a good score, just like we've done here. Oh no, I've missed it in completely the wrong spot. Oh Lord, oh Lordy. So we're going to play a total of four holes. Now, we're gonna hit irons off every tee, irons for our second shot, you know, and hopefully make a good score. But what I want you lot to do is go in the comment section, put any emoji to show that you've been watching up to this point, and also predict my score over the four holes. I'm gonna set the baseline at level par. So as you can see, we've left our shelf short-sided, but have got away with a nice line. We're just gonna try and land it on the top shelf, let it roll out slightly, give ourselves a chance at par. That's a great chip. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. We take those. So here's what we're gonna do. Stroke it into the center of the hole, no messing around, nice and composed, relaxed. Should never ever miss these part. There you go. In the side door, a little bit more break than I expected, but we still hold it. So we start off with a very tidy par, great up and down, great up and down. That's all I can say about that. But what type of struggles are we gonna get ourselves into only hitting irons off the tee today? Well, that's what I'm gonna show you. You know, when to do it, when not to do it, when I would do it, when I wouldn't do it. Um, so let's talk about that throughout this video. So we've already run into one of our main problems is the conditions today are cold, which means the ball doesn't travel as far, windy, which means there might be a chance we have to play into the wind into these holes, and the ground is not releasing the ball. So we've already encountered three major issues, but does that mean that we shouldn't hit irons? No, it might just put us at a slight disadvantage though. Okay, not bad. So let's take this hole, for example. This hole is a straightforward par four, 400 yards. We hit the free iron off the tee, and we've just crept into the semi-rough. Not too much rough, so I can't complain. We've now left ourselves about 170 into the flag, which is, again, not terrible, but what you could have done here is hit driver, knocked it miles past, let's say we carry it 270 and it stops 275. That leaves us 130 to the flag. Bit of a difference, wedge, nine iron, coming in with a six iron. That is where drivers do make a difference, but it also can put you in some bad positions. Fade, fade slightly, fade slightly, that's all I need, a little bit. Should be good. Is anyone out there a weather reporter? Because I need to know when we're going to get some warmer weather. I am sick and tired of playing in dull conditions. When you see the likes of Good Good, Rick Shields, out there in shorts, t-shirt, playing in the sun. And we've got the woolly hat, the overtop. It's freezing cold, but we're still out here making content because we just love it. But I would like some warmth as well. I'm not actually sure if you can see this, but this is where my ball lies, and this is where it pitched. See what I said? We don't get much run out in the winter months here, especially when the course is a little bit damp, a little bit soggy. But we actually got ourselves to the best part of the green, the left-hand side, 
didn't short side ourselves like we did on the first hole and we gave ourselves a makeable birdie putt. Simmer. Good putt. Good putt. That's for you. A great par par start by us. We actually played the second hole really well. Um, would it have been easier with driver? Probably, but it also would have brought in a lot of the trouble. Um, as you get further down that hole, the fairway gets shorter. There's big bunkers to the right. There's thick rough to the right. So there is potential I could have put myself in more trouble. But there you go, back to back pars. Oh, be the number. Be the number. <laughs> Look at it. Such a perfect golf shot in this weather. Let's go. So one of the other negatives for only hitting irons off the tee is that the golf course is actually set up to make you hit drivers, isn't it? I mean, most golf courses only have four par threes, which means they only want you to hit iron off the tee relatively four times. So that means the other holes, you should be hitting drivers or you should be hitting long woods. Um, so you do automatically put yourself at a disadvantage there. But where it does help you, if you get that good with your irons, you can hit shots like this. And when it comes to the summer, you don't need them drivers anymore. You really don't. So this putt to me looks like it wants to go right to left, but the wind is quite hard left to right. So I'm gonna go for a semi straight putt here. Again, nice sensible grip, smooth head steel. Great roll, great roll, birdie, birdie, birdie. It's birdie time, baby. So this might be the first hole where I'm at a real, real, real disadvantage. We're playing a par five here, but not only is it a par five, which makes it longer, you know, hitting the irons off the tee, there's also a cross stitch, which is about 190, 200, I believe. So that's right in my line, but for today's video purposes, I'm still going to go over it, we hope. Um, but this is, you know, another disadvantage from hitting iron off the tee. But we're not only talking about disadvantages, there are huge advantages. I don't know if you can really tell how close I was to going in the ditch there but we have only just made it over. So the main advantages of becoming a good iron player, they usually come out in the summer. And I'm gonna show you why in the summer when I record a repeat of this video, and you're gonna understand. In the summer, a lot of these holes, especially on Lynx course, you can really hit a low flighted runner down there. And your free iron can sometimes go, you know, 270 off the tee, 290. It's ridiculous in the summer, especially with the right bit of breeze. So that's the first tip is in the summer, you will be able to play the socks off everyone because you won't have to have the risk of hitting driver, running out of fairway, having to hit to the long parts of the golf course with the narrow parts, with the ditches, with the trouble. You just won't have to do it because you'll be so good at hitting your irons off the tee, you'll be able to hit irons and then a shorter iron in. Sure, sometimes you might want to pull the driver out and really give it a go, but trust me, being in play is a lot better than the risk of not being in play. So we've got, there's no chance we're getting it on the green here. So we're gonna take free iron and just get it as close as possible um, and try and hit a high draw up there. Oh, I've pulled it. It's not good, not good, but it's not in terrible position. So one of the other many reasons it's also good to be a very good iron player is you just give yourself so many different shots that other people don't have. Do you know how many people don't practice their mid to long iron shots? They go to the driving range, they bash driver. They go to the driving range, they hit the wedge shots into the tire. They go on the putting green, the chipping green, and do the little stuff. But from three to six to seven, no one practices that. And if you can be better than anyone else at that section of the game, you've got a big, big advantage. Anyway, we've got no real advantages here, so we're gonna take the 58. We just wanna get it on the green. Probably gonna go slightly left of the flag here because why not? More green. 
and I've actually pushed it. Oh, and it might have actually just trickled off. An actively terrible wedge shot has left us in this position. We do have this for birdie, but it's a very outside chance of making it. So left edge, head still, give it a go. Left edge, oh, we had the line. We had the line, just not the pace. I always feel if you get the line and you've got the pace, the putt usually goes in. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Did you guess the right score? One under with no driver in soaking wet conditions, quite a strong wind. For me, is a big, big win. But I wanna know if you got it right. So remember what I said, you had to put the emoji and the score correct at the start of the video in the comment section. Don't go ahead and cheat. Cheaters never prosper. It's not good to cheat in golf, not good to cheat on YouTube. But there you have it, we have finished the video and that is my views, remember? Everything on this golf channel is my views, okay? So that's my views on why iron play is so important and you need to get used to taking the driver and the woods out the bag. No matter what handicap you are, whether you're pro, whether you're 36, it can help you out. And trust me, you wanna be good at all aspects of the game. You don't just wanna be good at one. So give it a go and tell me in my next video what you thought of giving it a go. That's all I want to know. So lastly, if you have enjoyed this video, please smash the thumbs up, subscribe down below, turn that notification bell on. We upload two main channel videos every week, Sunday 7 p.m. GMT, Thursday 7 p.m. GMT, as well as a whole ton of shorts throughout the week at 7 p.m. GMT every day. So make sure you tune in, there is plenty of content. But as always, it's been a pleasure recording this video for you. Stay fun, stay fun, stay cool, stay having fun, but most importantly, stay chopping.